on August 21st, a chemical weapons attack was released on civilians in the capital of Syria. The chemical culprit? Sarin gas. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. The chemical weapons attack in Syria last month killed over 1,400 people, including hundreds of children. It was just the latest violent attack amidst Syria's civil war, which is a death toll of over 100,000 people since 2011. The chemical weapons attack was suspected to have been carried out by Syria's government, and it was done with a nerve agent called sarin gas. So let's talk a little bit about what sarin actually is and why its usage has sparked this global outrage. So sarin gas falls under a class of chemical weapons called nerve agents. Nerve agents work just like an insecticide, except they're much more potent and they're made for use on humans, not bugs. Sarin itself is a colorless, odorless, tasteless liquid that is man-made, and it can easily be vaporized and turned into a gas. You never know you were exposed to sarin in the water or the air. Well, until the symptoms set in, anyway. Low exposure symptoms are sweating, blurred vision, chest tightness, and nausea. Exposure in large doses produces convulsions, paralysis, respiratory failure, a loss of consciousness, and and death. This happens because nerve agents disrupt the chemicals between your nerves. When you need to contract your muscle to move, your nerve cells will send that command using a subtle choline. Muscle contract! In order for your muscle to stop contracting, an enzyme called cholinesterase is needed to clear out the acetylcholine. That is the muscle relaxer. So cholinesterase is the off command for muscle contraction, and sarin disables it. This means that the muscles and glands contract uncontrollably. They're just under constant stimulation. Because your diaphragm's a muscle, under the influence of sarin, those who've been attacked suffocate and stop breathing. Those who die have no visible symptoms, no cuts, no bruises, it's terrifying. Of all the nerve agents, sarin gas is the easiest to vaporize and spread widely into the environment. Other nerve agents don't spread so readily, but they are more potent. So the nerve agent cyclosarin is twice as toxic, Soman acts much more quickly, and VX is a nerve agent with a toxicity 10 times the rate of sarin. The last notable sarin attack was in 1995 when religious extremists released it on a Tokyo subway train and it killed 13 people. So 100,000 Syrians had already died before this chemical attack, and yet this attack was the one that crossed the line. Why is it that sarin gas is a particularly controversial way of killing people? Well, that's a question with political, philosophical, and scientific answers. From a scientific perspective, chemical weapons are particularly egregious because you can't target its usage. You can't contain gas. It's an indiscriminate killer. Nerve agents like sarin gas can also kill masses of people very quickly, and there's no way to protect yourself. So for those of you who are keeping up with the news, do you think the U.S. should strike the Syrian government? Let me know down below or on Twitter, at DNews. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.